Hello, and good evening. Welcome back to Dead Space. And you know, I feel like it's not, it's not quite dragging on. It's not there. But if there was like two more missions, then I would be, I would say it's dragging on. Maybe there's, maybe there is. Uh, just because last time was like, <laughs> bullets ball. Dead Space Edition. So it's like, I don't know. They have kind of quirky ideas. But it's good. Uh, so yeah, we are heading off to collect some key cards, repair some stuff, do our Dead Space thing. And as always, this is doing anything for you. <laughs> Do the YouTube thing. I appreciate it so much for subscriptions. Sad face. Buying that node. Look at all this stuff. Now playing. Crime was their passion. Hot duo. <laughs> Bronson fuel cakes. <laughs> fuel. Mechanics fuel tune. New music collection coming soon. Bang bang, kitty kitty. <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon. Rancid moon. That's hilarious. Oh, oh, they're all dead. Oh, they were executed. They must have killed themselves. Oh, you can spend all day. Translating the information here. Oh my god. Is this a marker? No. Excuse me. Sorry. Is this the marker? Really? Maybe. You know, as much as they could have went to, for religious overtones or undertones, rather, they haven't really. Am I going the right way? We'll just follow the singing. It's fine. Unitology article? United we ascend? Is unitology a new hope or just another scam? Can you... If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you might have missed the f fastest growing religious movement in history. After I just said... Unitology boasts a following of millions, counts, powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims uh, 78 billion of stock in multi-global companies. We're not Scientology, we're Unitology, and owns two of Earth's largest financial, financial institutions. Okay, from its beginnings as a cult of person- cult of personality, Unitology has become a respected established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a professor of anthropology, blew the whistle on what he claimed was the biggest cover-up ever instituted by Earth government. The discovery of an artifact, or marker, which proved beyond any doubt that there is alien life in the universe. The government labeled Altman a kook, but his claims struck an accord with some, and his mysterious death soon afterward fueled that interest. Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key to life eternal, through rebirth and ascension to heaven. The kicker is you have to die first. That's how all religions work. Well, that's how a lot of, uh, uh, Judeo-Christian, whatever the term is, Christian religions work. Um, they say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping it secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take their, them to a new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there's a dark side. Oh my god, this thing goes on. 
Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe there are at least three ranks above the average believer or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to, to a follower, and these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. And as an aside to all this, I wish they had split this information up and and you know piecemealed it to you so you had you were building up this knowledge of the marker right the initiates unitology the church instead of like bang here's all the information all at once in a freaking uh exposition dump that i'm reading anyway think taking all your money is bad the church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they do with them? Nobody will say. And attempts to infiltrate their inner circle have failed, with their emphasis on transformation and rebirth. Maybe we wouldn't like the answer even if they told us. One rumor also refuses to die, says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding program. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the claimants all say these mausoleum ships, despite their huge size, continue on page 94. Is the Ishimura one of those ships? Is it a military sh one? Okay, so, oh, you know what? We have two in here. All right, we are... Got some upgrades here. I'm gonna... Take that. I'm hearing a, uh, a lullaby sung to me where I don't think I should be hearing. Oh, you know what? Is this one of those situations where I should just be following the, the map or the breadcrumbs? Find the crew key. Yeah, okay. Like with the, the the poisonous pod people. I kinda went off on my own. Oh shit, this what guy. What are when all must seem so utterly hopeless around you? That little cross was a true believer. She had faith. And now she awaits her transformation. A rebirth. Are you ready to ascend the temple? Of course you are. Oh no. Have no fear. You will play your part soon enough. Witness the conviction. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay, so that's what happened to the others. God damn. They are ready. Thank you. Embrace them. Jesus Christ. Hey. Ugh, this shit is everywhere. I can't even run. The residence lobby? Alright. Is there a lot of transforming going on here? I usually go the opposite way it tells me to. Hello? Oh, 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 hello? I hate these little squid dudes. I can't run. Squid? Oh shit. Is someone being fed? Hey, hi, how'd you get in there? Listen, I'm trying to save my own ass. All right. <laughs> I'm sure he'll come back. What's this? Oh, you want me to go in there, eh? Ugh.
Jesus Christ. I'm seeing fucking chairs and everything coming at me, dude. I don't know what's real anymore. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> you see me take the swing? I don't have any stasis, so... God damn, these things are tough as balls. Call it cheesy, call it whatever you want. I call it surviving. You fucking guy, man. Yeah, let's waste five bullets on one thing. Seem dead. There he is. Jesus. It's Phil. See if I have a small med pack here. Yep. I guess over here would have been an okay idea. Don't attack me. Is it? What did I just say? Alright, you can. You can stay there. Should I be looking up like a half-life thing kind of grab me? Okay, so now we got the thing, the, the key card. The crew key. Find navigation cards. Okay. I'm assuming it's the other door because that's where like the, the habitats are. <laughs> I really must speak with you. I'm very close to your position, and and I know you want to hear what I have to say. I can explain all this. So what happened? When you have the nav cards, I'll let you into the security station. We must talk. Hurry. As long as you're not one of those un unitology freaks. Yeah. That's where I'm supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, hold on. Hold on, guys. Guys. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Sucks so much. This way. <sighs> oh, shit. That was it? Oh. Oh, it was not. Oh, okay. Use the creep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, save and O2. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Quarantine. The life support system in Sleep Lock B has been shut down. You'll have to find an override nearby to get to the door. Of course I will. Oh, here's a save. How long have I been going? Oh, let's just keep going. See? That's pretty good. Oof. Yeah, see, that's all I got. Thanks for the large med pack. Holy destruction here, man. I thought there was one more thing I was... Uh, some more credits, yay. <laughs> hmm, over, override, airlock, door lock? Yeah, sure. Wait, wait, wait. Fine, Max. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. What the? You. <laughs> a 
ओके Knocked him over with the friggin' table, that's hilarious. Oh. Oh, I see a box here though. Okay. Backtrack a little bit, I guess. Now we have lockdown. Ooey, ooey. Wait, wait, there's a save in here, yeah? Okay. All right, block B. Oh shit, big guys. Oh shit. There he is. Seconds to play around. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Well, I'm dead. Holy shit, you gotta move through this area. Okay. New uh, strategy. Move. Move, move, move. Shit, there's one behind me. There's something behind me, isn't there? What the fuck? I went the wrong way? I went around in a circle. Where's the O2? If I get right here. Okay. okay, there's there's O2 right here. So I'm okay being here. Looking, looking, looking. There he is. Hey, big boy. It doesn't fire right. Try to use stasis on that guy. Trying to get in here. Pour the uh, oxygen. Hey, okay. oh, that's bad. Double checking. Oh, hello, hello. Fuck. Fuck. Why do they do so much damage? Uh. 
I'm concentrating so much. Oh, there's a guy right there. Come on, come on. Like, I don't even want to go near that door, okay? It's not fair. Jesus Christ. My anxiety is through the roof here. Oh, no, no, no. time here. Oh, 30 seconds. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay. Now we can focus on getting shit done, right? Holy crap. My legs are so tight. That's where all my <laughs> anxiety goes. A uh, knife card, okay. Okay, so got 50 seconds. Where do you want me to go, buddy? Okay, let's grab some oxygen. It was just a one knife card? Yep. That was insanely difficult. Hello? Hello? Okay. Not insanely difficult. It was just like, whew, a lot of anxiety. Thought I saw something move. I don't know, I almost prefer, you know what, I, I don't want to say too much, but I haven't played the remake, but from what I saw, or what I've seen, the remake, it's like the entire room is pitch black, and it feels like this original, it's like, oh, that corner, shit, oh, okay, there's nothing there, oh, did I just see something, oh, oh okay, it's like the corner is pitch black. But you're using the sounds in the visible space to create paranoia. <sighs> um, shit. Okay, where's like the store? Really? Oh, okay. We're going. We're going towards the store. I will say the the the, the placement, the pacing. This is on hard, and uh, it's it's quite good. I think I've only backtracked once to go to a store. Okay, up we go. And there's a little room next to us. Jesus Christ. Oh, did I go in here already? Okay. Double checking. What's this way? Son of a jerk. Hey, 
Hey. What does this say? Nifted infidels. These guys take too much, man. I know I'm using the pulse rifle, but still, yeesh. I can't run on this crap. Bench. Okay, so we're kind of backtracking through this area. Uh, I have a node. Okay, I'm just kind of vibing out the time here. But before I continue any further, I'm gonna put a cut here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.